What's going on guys, it's Weird Gaming, the guy I love to play games, Gamer Inside, back some more WWE 2K14, 30 years of WrestleMania, we're gonna keep going with the Hulkamania Runs Wild, we're at Wrestle March 3, Ricky Steamboat vs. Macho Man, March 29th, 1987, at Wrestlemania 3, let's get this started. I didn't even read what I had to do. Reigning Intercontinental oh, Champion Randy Macho Man Savage took things too far in his title defense against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He can't breathe! Look at that! He can't breathe! Yeah! Macho Man Randy Savage, Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, was in a state of shock when Ricky the Dragon Steamboat came back. Steamboat returning to the ring after suffering a crushed wiring. But this time, in front of the largest audience in the world, I will not only embarrass you, not only pin you with the one, two, three, but I'm gonna put you out for good. The day has finally come. We have reached our moment. We clash like two titans. But there will only be one winner. Macho Man and the Dragon would settle their differences in the ring at WrestleMania 3. But this was not the only heated rivalry going into the big event. WrestleMania 3, the biggest main event of all time. The heavyweight champion of the world, Hulk Hogan, and the challenger. Hulk's former friend, Andre the Giant. When I saw him out there with Bobby the Weasel Heenan, I knew he was different. I'm there for one reason, to challenge you for a world championship match in the WrestleMania. You can't believe it? Maybe you'll believe this, Hogan. When you tore my shirt off, man, when you tore the cross, you tore the heart and soul out of all the little hopsters, man. Believe me, WrestleMania 3 will be your last lesson. Oh, wow. Ooh. Win by pinfall or submission. Complete the WrestleMania moment. What's the WrestleMania moment? You gotta tell me what it is. I'm gonna figure out myself. I'm gonna figure out myself. God. Let's get this started. Here he comes, making his way down the runway. The reigning Intercontinental Champion, the Macho Man, with Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Skip through the, the entrances a bit just to get, so we get straight to what we need is straight to the gameplay. Introducing the challenger from Hawaii, weighing 237 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with something to prove against the reigning Intercontinental Champion. Well, Steamboat is no slouch. Savage will have to keep his mind sharp and to retain his Intercontinental Championship tonight. Very uh, let's get this started. Alright guys, I'm calling below also. If you guys want to see Universe Mode, I'm still up to doing it. I just gotta find time, because the way I wanted to do Universe Mode, I have to do it. I can't, if I do it the wrong way, it's not going to be right for me. And it's not going to be the same probably for you guys if I don't do it by getting the way that I'm thinking about. So comment below, below, comment below, below, comment below if you guys want to see Universe Mode and I'll do it. I just need the motivation to do it because it's going to take a lot of time, but I'm willing to do it for you guys. But comment below for that. Other than that, let's get this match started. I don't know what the WrestleMania moment is, but we'll figure it out. Okay. This all started many months ago when Randy Savage brutally attacked the Dragon crushing his larynx and nearly ending his career. Yeah, Savage drove Steamboat's throat into the steel barricade with his flying axe handle and then used the ring bell to further damage the larynx from the top rope. Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you jam a, a ring bell in someone's throat? You could have killed the man. Such a gruesome injury. It's like, you know, back in 2008, when Joe Manonite from USC dropped the weight on his throat? It's like that. That, 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 that can kill someone. It's about payback. Oh, that elbow's gotta hurt. And it goes down hard. 
if he keeps delivering clotheslines like that, he's going to break his arm. That's a move that'll disorient you. Oh, yeah. Doing work. How in the world did he counter that? In that grapple. We got to work, we gotta work the down the body. Make sure he can't get up later. We're going to make sure he pays. He pays for putting that ring down to our throat. Just don't do that. Wow. Do I don't that. Know if can take like that. Get in that corner. Hope oh, Elizabeth's watching. Yeah, you like when I throw his arm in there? Yeah. Yeah. You remember this day. His oxygen. He's making it so that he can't breathe. Oh yeah. yeah. Tom, get that monkey foot. He can't breathe. He I couldn't breathe. But he jammed a ring bell through my throat. Come on now. Well good luck with that, Dragon. Macho Man has few, if any, weaknesses. Every man has weaknesses, King. Steamboat's weakness is his windpipe. After all that he's had to overcome, I'm surprised the Dragon can even Uno. Breathe, let alone compete. His strike is nothing but air. He crushes his opponent with that splash. Nothing on me, boy. And he blocked it. And Savage kicks out convincingly. What a nasty elbow. And he threw a hard right hand there. Bam! Ouch! You can hear that in different time zones. Let's do it. Macho Man has to be careful here. Doing work. The dragon That's has seen to move up. Let's see if we use it right here. He's really bringing the fight to the Intercontinental Champion. Well, oh, I thought it was a submission. That's how stupid I am. Ricky the Dragon Steve. He's getting pumped. Getting pumped. Get up. Get up! And what I call a high in-ring IQ. And there's the head scissor. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Hurry. Get up there. What? I thought this is some... What? No. What's his finisher? Oh, no. That's Jimmy Suit. So freaking stupid. I'm getting people confused now. Confusing... Dragon, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's finisher with Wait, isn't this Ricky Steamboat? Uh, he's a great champion, JR. Well, I'm so confused on what I'm doing now. These are two supreme athletes at their I'm at no Jimmy Jimmy Snookify should that's what I'm thinking. He's got him up. I'm thinking I'm thinking Superfly oh, Snooker. This is Steamboat. King. God. Macho Get me a manual. Get me a freaking thing on this one. It's all over. Ha, there's no ref. One, two, <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Okay. Hit him with the leverage pin. On a stunned opponent. Okay. I got you. Oh, he countered it. Oh. Oh, he wants to play. He didn't get jokes. He don't got no jokes. Okay, maybe he has jokes. Maybe you have jokes. I'm sorry. Oh, Ric Flair's not here yet, is he? The sound is echoing to the far reaches not. of this packed arena. Dang it! I have to cancel. It's not. It's not on a stunned opponent. It's not, uh, I can't talk sometimes. A stunned opponent. What are you pointing at? Stop! 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 You don't know what you're doing. Got to do everything perfect. We gotta get the historical objectives. He's grinding Steamboat down. No. 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 Rope break. Rope breaks. No. I will not fail. I will not fail. I will not fail. I'm too beast for that. Steamboat kicks out. Man, this is one of those matches. Anyone, if, if, yeah, if you guys know what um uh, Ricky Steamboat's finisher is and want to tell me how to do it. After this, when you see this video, let me know because I really want to know what his finisher Back is. Because I have no idea. It's like a I, sh I probably should know, but 
There we go. End it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. No. You're going to make this difficult for me, really? I'm going to drop you on your face. Woo. I still don't know what your finisher is. I'm pretty sure it's something awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Historical objective complete for the third time. That was good. I'll do another match. Let's do the next. Let's get the next match in. What did I get? Miss Elizabeth Steamboat Camp Title. All right. What's the next match? Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. Ooh. Let's go. This will be a good match. So realistic. They're throwing the cups at him. It's like, hi, how you doing? How you doing? You're throwing cups at me. I might use that cup later off this match. I might be thirsty. Just keep throwing them. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> uh. No. Not when you're that guy. He's like the Paul Heyman. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California, weighing 294 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. The roof is about to explode as these 93,000 plus greeted. You're looking at the greatest professional athlete in the world today. The WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. Well, he's the champion right now, JR, but he may not be in a few minutes. Let me run it down. Hogan, 6 foot 8, 294 pounds. Neck, 21 inches. Chest, 58 inches. Biceps at a phenomenal 24 inches. Hands, 13 and a half inches. And that's the tail of the tape. A phenomenal individual. What about Andre? Just What's his tail of the tape? Hulkamania is alive. Well, this thing is called Hokamea Runs Wild. So, what can you say? I do it. Remember that stare down? Well, there was a stare down when they first came, when they did this. I, I've seen the videos. Look at that championship. I, look, I think about what it is now. Hi. Huh. Changes. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. It's probably going to be a longer episode than the last one. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be longer than the last one, but that's okay. Look at the stare. The irresistible force. It's like, I'm going to beat you down. Object. Look at the size of the giant. I mean, Hogan is 6 foot 8. Andre is 7 foot 5. What could Hogan possibly be saying to him? I would certainly like to be able to read lips at this point. Oh! Beatdown time! Hey! Come on now, you can't, you can't be simply, you can't be, I'm about to go off on someone, and you're gonna interrupt me with tips and tricks. I want your tip and tricks. That would have been nice, you know, a couple, like, last video, but I could have figured I'd do a freaking body slam. Now you want to tell me, why is that you do a body slam? Oh. Shut up. Though, as they gave him a trophy for being undefeated for 15 years. He was undefeated for 15 years? 
Wait, undefeated in the WWE for 15 years? Or there's another thing? That's pretty impressive that I did not know about. Historical facts. Might throw the more you know on this thing, in this video. That's why 93,173 fans are here. Nice counter. What a chop. Look at him block the Hogan bound his mark. And Andre realizes that Hogan is here. They're going off on each other. may be true, JR, but Andre is showing no fear of Hulk Hogan's strength. I don't think Andre is afraid of anyone or anything. Andre has no reason to fear any man, especially Hulk Hogan. Oh crap, I'm supposed to do all these like oh wait, get down, get down, get down, we gotta go out we gotta go outside. We got I was supposed to, I was supposed to do this out here when he's light damage. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but to fail. But to fail the historical objectives. Ooh! That'll hurt. He's hulking up. Turn out. What are you doing? What are you doing? So what are you doing? What were you, what were you trying to prove there? I don't. I don't know. All right. What's the next objective? Irish rip and critical. Complete the WrestleMania moment. Okay. Simple enough. And did you hear the impact on that kick? An elbow. I don't know what the last one it should. It should be do the nice. body slam right. under the giant. Uh oh, it might be time to. Sorry, you didn't come back. You. He might not be out of this just yet. Oh yeah! Hit me again! So hit me again! Let's do it! Let me again! Do it again! Yeah! You! Oh yeah! Hit him again! Put it about there we go. Oh yeah. No, I messed up. Hulk is making a statement here tonight. You want this championship? Well then you've got to beat me for it. Sure. But can Hulk We're doing it again. It's one thing to hit Andre with some Hit me again. It's another thing to beat him. Because I'm Hulk Hogan. It's like I'm Batman. You no one has defeated Andre. He's rarely even been off his feet. Wait, no one's the oh no one defeated him to this moment. I'm not sure That's some crazy stuff. That's some crazy stuff. I, oh, we're not supposed to be inside the ring, are we? It says Irish should be off, oh, forget it. I don't know. Oh man! Woo! There might be no getting up from that. Come on, you're going. You're going down. Come on. Unbelievable, King! If he had told me that Hulk Hogan was going to bring the fight to Andre like this, I would have never believed it. I never thought I'd see the day. Well, I have to agree, Jay. There we go. This is something that I can WrestleMania to moment about. time. Hogan has, Hogan has dropped the giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, he hit that Undertaker. He hit that Undertaker moment. Look, look at Bobby. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's not, that's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. He getting pumped up. He getting pumped up. He let that leg drop. He'll end it. Oh yeah! It's over. Uno, dos. Get me that victory. Get out of here, Andre. You're 50. You're 50. You're 50. You're 50. Give me that trophy. Give me that trophy. You don't deserve it. You're done. You're done. You're done. How's it feel, Andre? Blues. This is a moment everyone knows about who the WWE fan. Anyone who's a wrestling fan should know about this moment. This is a great moment in, w in wrestling history, WrestleMania history. Yes.
Or Hulk, where'd he go? He dipped. He's like, I'm out. Alright guys, I'm in this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is what you unlock for winning. You get Army the Giant, WrestleMania 3 and 4. You get Bobby Heaton. You get Hulk Hogan. And you get the WrestleMania 3 entrance. Play gaming. The guy wants to play games. Find what's right for every... I don't know the writer's song. I'll see you guys later.